It's Wednesday and that means it's time for Healthy Living. Today, Lynn Hostetler joins us from Lynn's Pharmacy to talk about the local story of penicillin. Thank you for being with us this afternoon. So tell us a little bit because we have a connection here in the Wabash Valley to penicillin. We do. It was originally discovered in uh, St. Mary's Hospital in London by uh, Alexander Fleming. He didn't have the background in order to actually develop it, but he did some research with it in uh, 1929. About 1937, 39, uh, Howard Florey and about 20 some other people started doing this research on this particular product. And uh, they, they tried to purify it. It only grows on the surface. and. Uh, penicillin is designed, the name comes from penicillin because it grows kind of shaped like a pencil. Hmm. So that's how they named it. So basically it only uh, grows on the surface. So they were trying to grow it uh, to make it ready for the, the war effort and they just couldn't get it done. They were using bed pans and special jars that were made for them and just a lot of effort to get penicillin developed. And it only grows for about eight days and it stops and they have to start all over again and, and redevelop with the media. So uh, the war was going on, London was being bombed daily and, and so they, uh, through a Rockefeller connection, uh, they got over to this country and uh, somebody had worked with Mr. Flory years before, knew his character and knew what he was saying was true, uh, got the uh, government to get involved in it. In the United States Agriculture Department in Peoria, Illinois, were doing research, uh, world breaking research in fermentation. And so they brought the penicillin over to Peoria, Illinois. Top secret, nobody knew about this. Uh, it was kind of like the Manhattan Project with the atomic bomb. And so they, they went from growing penicillin in a liter flask with getting 1% yields to growing it in 10 to 25,000 gallon vats with an 80 to 90 percent yield. So it was a, the story of this is just amazing. But uh, so penicillin was not available to most people. And as you were showing us, it took a lot of penicillin back in the day. Yeah, this, this was a bit of powder. And this expiration date on this is 1943. Wow. So this gets to the story of how Clay County Hospital administered this uh, way before anybody else almost in the world got it. And so this would be filled with back filled with water because it was a dry powder. And you'd use a syringe this size oh to my. stick somebody. Oh my. And, and I remember this because back in the early fifties mm -hmm. I got penicillin shots and I've never seen the nurse come with a syringe. It was a glass syringe instead of plastic. But we have here uh, newspaper clippings from Clay County Hospital and Brazil paper uh, talking about there was a patient in Fort Wayne that was the 12th patient in the United States to receive penicillin. Well, Clay County had had two patients receive penicillin before that. And so it saved both their lives. It was a special deal. And uh, it was kind of interesting. So. Well, and it's, in, it's very interesting to hear about our connection, our local connection to penicillin and the many, many lives that it saved around the world. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon and giving us a little local history lesson. We appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And again, our Healthy Living segment airs right here on Wednesdays. If you'd like some more information about healthy living, be sure to check out our website at WTHITV.com. News 10 at Midday. We'll be right back. Stay with us.